everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to let live and a time to kill. Isaac. Isaac! Wait! You're coming back, Cheney. Beat it out of here while you can. I'll just lie still, Luke. Keep down. Isaac should have helped us. As soon as I take care of these two, Luca, I'll get you to Min's place. Marshal! Marshal, I'm throwing... 
going on? You hear? I hear you. Now throw out that other gun. Save your fire. That's my brother, Marshal. He's hurt bad. He ought to be taken on a flight board. We haven't got time. Kane, bring up that other horse. Are we going after the others? There's no point in it. Sorry about Luke Cheney. Thanks. Take this on up to the place. I'm gonna drop by a men's for some whiskey. That's why you always smell so sweet. If I'd have known the tall hog was coming, I'd have saved this slop. <laughs> Hi, girls. Oh, we had you got run out of the country. <laughs> now, you know I wouldn't run off and leave you girls. Who'd you have to get mad at, huh? <laughs> Come on. Here you are, girls. Isaac, drink your coffee and get. Everybody's looking for you. I don't want any trouble around here. Just fill me a sack with whiskey and don't holler like that. Your voice enough to give every man the jitters. Now, where's Sherry? Sherry? Oh, what do you want to see Sherry for? I've got some news for her. Hello, Isaac. Got some news for you. You don't have to worry about Cheney no more. He's going to settle down. Just what do you mean? He picked out a nice little spot called Leavenworth. Isaac, don't joke about things like that. I'm dead serious. Cheney and some of the boys went on a tear in Maricopa. Clint Wade's bailiwick. Stole a bunch of guns we no more needed than a man in the moon. Where's Luke? Got shot. How do you know? I heard it. So we don't have to worry about uh, Jeannie no more. <laughs> Can't understand why a girl like that's so stuck on Jeannie. He always was a no count. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of money you got there, Isaac. You want to come along and uh, help me spend it? <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to run out on him. He told me he was quitting, Isaac. He promised. Oh, I think Cheney meant to keep his promise. It's pretty hard sometimes for a man to change his ways. I've tried to help him do it. I know that, Sherry. He's helped you, too. At least you can live here decent. You call this living decent? I want a home, a husband. Yeah, so did I. I only know one thing. Every man deserves another chance. When he's in trouble, his woman ought to stand by him.
the stencil gang. You recovered the guns and shells? I'm still sweeping up the mess they left in my place. All right, back, everybody. Come on, back. Marshal, did you get the rest of them? Where's Isaac Stetson? Give me the report first thing, Mr. Mayor. Open the door, please. Uh -huh. Can I go in there with Luke? No. Why didn't you recover my goods? We didn't get them. Why not? Well, Stance and the boys up ahead had the tow sacks. Then when we got these two, Clint gave up the chase. I don't understand. All right, mount up. more concerned about that no good across the street. I don't know why he was too hurt to run. Could have tied Cheney up and gone after the others. If you would have made the buzzards a mighty fine meal, Stance was going to mess some men up in those hills. He was leading you straight into an ambush. Hey, kid, how about going over to the doc's office and see how it's going? Yes, sir. I don't care about all that. They stole 15 brand new Winchester rifles, two dozen 45s, and about $500 worth of shells. I can't stand a loss like that. I'll personally see to it that you get your goods back. Mr. Kane, our taxpayers are not interested in your capturing a couple of second-rate gun hands. Now, what I want you... Now, now, just a minute, Mr. McKenzie. Don't blame me. If I hadn't shot Luke Holland, we'd have come back with nothing at all. We should have followed Stansel. I doubt if we'll find him now. Mr. Holland, I'll guarantee you a suspended sentence if you'll turn state's evidence. I need a group of men to Isaac Stancil. Stancil's mine. You will be a long time getting to him. I can wait. It's not going so good, Mr. Hall. Thanks. Isaac's fault. He could have held you off while I ran Luke over to Mint's place. It's only a couple of miles. He brought it up in that long trip into town. It was your fault, Cheney. As long as I can remember that kid worshipped you, he'd have followed you to hell. And I guess that's just about where you bled him. Don't talk like that. True. You better get a new sight on yourself and see where you're heading. How's your dad? Not fine. Clint. I want Luke buried right. I'll see to it. 
Take my money. It's in the basket. Take all of it. Oh, it's all right. It's my money. Don't you better save up some for a lawyer? I'll worry about that when the time comes. I want him very bright, you hear? Not here. and I don't see how we can fail to win. We yeah. can't. We can't. Reverend, won't you have a beer? No, this lemonade is fine. You boys go right ahead. Thanks very much. On your next junk at the Gila Mines, I think I'd take those posters off the stage. What posters? The ones about you keeping Stansel out of Maricopa. Word spread about his raiding your own backyard. Opposition candidate might make a big joke out of it. I wouldn't be surprised what Stansel staged that raid to embarrass me. I sure wish Clint had followed through. Clint, come on, join the smoke. Well, I won't interrupt our future lieutenant governor for long. <laughs> Baxter, how soon can you arrange a funeral for Lou Collin? Well, if I get right to it, I guess by the morning. Anybody wrong, such as upside down. Somebody say about a funeral for Lou Collin? Why, if you think you're going to bury that no good gun slinger in the same cemetery with my old lady, you've got another thing coming. Reverend Cheney Holland would appreciate your conducting the service tomorrow. That would be an insult to the church and to the people of this town. Steel bury him in Boot Hill, Clint. Mr. Mayor, does the law say that everybody's entitled to a decent burial? Yes, Clint. However, as a duly elected official, I'm obliged to support the majority of feeling of the people. Frankly, I think it would be a mistake for us to show public effect to such an outlaw. Well, you just won my vote. And on top of that, I'm deeply concerned about the welfare of our young people. They're inclined to idolize these gunslingers. I give them much more credit than that. Clint, we ought to be getting Cheney over the district court first thing in the morning. Stansel's gang might come busting in town to get him out of jail. I never thought of that. Clint, why are you so concerned about Luke and Cheney Holland? They were friends of mine. We grew up together. Cheney's taken his brother's death pretty hard. Now, if we show him some respect, he might get over his bitterness about people in general and come out of prison a different man. It could be a turning point in his life. That's the way to talk, Marshal. Ask me, and I'll sing at his funeral. Thank you. I'm sorry, Clint. I'm ordering you to report with Cheney Holland at the district court the first thing tomorrow morning. Baxter, would $50 cover the cost of the funeral? Well, everything but a marker. How much would that be? Well, I've got an old winning half for 10. If you don't mind being buried under the name of Murphy, or a cracked winning half for 15, or a new plain one with fancy letters you can have for, let's say, uh, uh, 20. All right, let's have the plain one. I'll pay for it myself. Reverend, search your soul. See if you can find your way clear to say a prayer for that boy tomorrow. Good day, gentlemen. Baxter, don't you think it would be a little better to string along with the rest of us? Well... Fortunately, I don't need to depend on you or the mayor to throw business my way. Marshal, yep. Sexton said he wouldn't ring the church bell. I'm sorry to hear that. Has Shaney Hall really robbed some banks? Yes, he has, son. Has he ever killed anybody? Well, not to my knowledge. I'm glad. Have you ever killed anybody, Marshal? Not unless I had to, Jeff. Run down and tell Kane to bring Cheney. We're about ready to go. Hi. What? Uh, come here. You see that gun up there? With the pearl handle. Yes, sir. You like it? Yes, sir. Take it. Just a second, son. It's mine, ain't it? Yeah, but... It's not loaded? No. And I'm not gonna be using it anymore. So keep your big, fat mouth shut. Okay, kid. Take your gun and go. Yes, sir. Now hold it. Hold it. Learn to use it right, huh? Yes, sir. Not like me? No, sir. Like Marshal Wade? Yes, sir. Okay.
was the person. He's probably down at the gravesite. Would you lend a hand here? I was paid to dig a hole. Like the Parsons coming. Is that a few words, Marshal? Glad to, Jenny. 
I've known Lou Collin ever since I was a kid. And he was like most men. He had both good and bad in him. But I guess the bad showed up the most, so... Let's say a prayer for him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Marshal! Somebody dig a hole for you. Didn't have to kill him. Get to the buggy. I say forget him. Go after Isaac Stansel. He's more important. What about Ben of Water, Kane? Here, take my canteen, Clint. Thanks. Have you been listening to me, Clint? I've been listening. Well, then you agree. You should go after Stansel. Nope. I'm going after Cheney. You've got to back me up, Clint. That's your job. Backing up the law. Bringing in Stansel would be a big political feather in your war bonnet, wouldn't it, Mr. Mayor? Well, that thought never in my mind. I was thinking of the welfare of our people. The safety of a town depends upon its law. Well, now, you put it that way, I guess I'll have to go along with you. Well, now you're talking sense. Kane's not going to be busy here for two days. Why don't you and he get a posse together and go after Stansel? Well, uh, I have thought of that, and, uh, and I would if I wasn't scheduled to leave today on a campaign junket. Oh? How about you, Kane? You know me, Clint. I'm all for going. Well, then, good. It's all settled. Well, except for one thing. You see, with Isaac on the loose, his honor figured I should make the trip with him. You understand? Sure, sure, I understand. Good luck on your trip. Hope you get a lot of votes. So long, man. Kent's got a real stubborn streak in him, Your Honor. I know what I'd do if I were Marshal. What's that? Just like you said. Go after Stansel. Kane, you may get to be Marshal sooner than you expected. Oh, what? Marshal! Hi, Jeff. I had to see you before you left. What about? Here. I don't want it. I don't want it either, son. I'll see you later, huh? Thanks for helping me, Sherry. Please, Cheney. You did help me. You killed him. You killed any chance we might have had for a life together. You went for a gun and you know it. He was nowhere near a gun. I haven't got time to argue about it now. We've got to run. That's what I mean. We'll have to run for the rest of our lives. Look, 
We'll be married as soon as we can. If you'd only said that six months ago. With Luke gone, you're all I've got. We'll make a fresh start. You and me. Can we, Cheney? We will. Well, we can't make much time with that horse and buggy. I tell you what. You go on to Men's and I'll meet you there with some horses. Where are you going? I'll be at Men's Place before you know it. Don't ever think about leaving me, Sherry. I can't leave you, Janie. You see, I, I don't have a choice anymore. Now, you cut down the ravine and I'll meet you at men's place.
garbage canteen. Hey, Jenny Holland's girl. Never saw you in town before today. I don't get it. If I'd been Jenny Holland, you were my girl. I'd have gotten me some ground and let my feet grow right into it. Of course, Cheney never was one to grow roots. Guess you found that out. You've known Cheney long? Maybe too long. When we were kids, she roughed up a dog and it bit him. He went straight home to his old man, got a rifle, tracked down the dog and shot him. He just wanted to get even. Guess Cheney never grew up. You up to ride in double? Maybe you'd like to rest a while. What'll happen to him? If you catch him. I'll catch him and he'll hang. We all make mistakes, Marshal. Cheney made his last one today. You said every man has good and bad in him. You were his friend. Did you try to find the good in him? I did, but didn't do anything for our friendship. Look, Cheney killed a man. Maybe he's done it before, I don't know. But once you've killed a man, it's easy to do it again. A man knows he can only hang once. What makes you so sure you'll catch him? You know anything about raising bees? No, I guess you don't. Well, when you take the queen bee out of the hive, all the rest of them fall on. You don't think Cheney'd ride into town just to get me, do you? Man, it'd go in ways for a woman like you. So let's make it easy for Cheney. He can meet us out of Ben's place. Marshal. Yes? What'll happen to me? That's not for me to decide. That man that Cheney... I went at Luke's funeral today. You mean the grave digger? Did he have a family? No. Would it make any difference if I said I'm sorry about him? Would it make you feel better? Mm -hmm. Then say it. I am sorry. Let's go. Oh, boy. your girls too much. Hey, right making you care every no good come you trapping by. Hey, hey, don't kick now. Say, you got a ward or something there. Huh? <laughs> 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 Sorry to hear about Luke. Well, that's the way it goes. Where is everybody? Down by the spring. Good.
Cheney. Don't you fret, honey. I hate them, all of them. Isaac's men? Men in general. Isaac in particular. Oh, tut, tut, tut. I don't see Chang's horse, do you? Oh. Day in the morning, Sherry. What's happened? The buggy's been back more than an hour. I wrecked your wagon, man. Oh, never mind. Are you all right, child? I'm all right. I just want to change my clothes right now. I'll help. No, please. She got in any trouble helping Chaney. It's my fault, Clint. I urged it. It'll work out, man. Go fix us up a couple of thick steaks, huh? About like that? 
Now you want to eat? Sitting or standing? Sitting. I'll be here for a while. Mm, it's not you. Clean at your badge. Drives the business away. How long exactly? Till Jenny Holland gets here. And by the way, man, have you seen Isaac Stancil lately? Uh-uh. Funny thing, how he gets around, nobody ever sees him. Yeah. Do you have to come in? Afraid so. I don't want you jumping out the window. Well, would you hand me those brown riding pants, please, on the dresser? Thank you. I gave my sister those once. Only they had blue ruffles and little pink doodads all around them. You know, there's no help in Cheney anymore. But you can help yourself by helping me. How? Getting Cheney's only part of my job. I've got to get Stancil, too. Cheney wouldn't tell me where Isaac's hiding out. I thought maybe you might know. Yes, I do. But how would knowing help me? Might make it a lot easier for you when your trial comes up. Would you hand me that scarf, please, on the bed? Cheney's riding up right now. You better give me that gun, Sherry. No, Marshal. Then you must still be in love with him. How I feel about Cheney doesn't matter. I just don't want to be a part of any more killings. Sit down. See your buggy out back, man. Sherry right in? She rode in. What happened to you? Never mind that. Where's Sherry? In her room. You don't act very happy to see me, man. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Damn if you don't look silly, Clint. If you were a friend of mine, I'd spread this story all over the territory. Thanks, honey. I can always count on you. You look like you've been in a hornet's nest. That's nothing. My horse spilled me. Stumbled in the gopher hole. I brought you that horse, like I said. We can travel any time you're ready. You hear? I hear. This is my lucky day, Clint. Sherry and me are going to get married. Congratulations. I sure wish things were different. Here, I'd like for you to stand up with me. What town are you going to get married in? Well, town, she says. What name are you going to use, Cheney? Go tell him to scratch up some food and a couple of canteens of water. What about the marshal? What about him? Oh. Slip those cuffs off your belt. Snap one around your wrist. That parson never show up? I'm betting he didn't. Sit in the bed. Give me the keys. Now snap your hands behind you, around the bed. Have men put those canteens on that chestnut mare I brought. I'll be with you before you know it. What kind of talk you been filling Sherry's head with? Talk about you? Oh, you always were a smart one with words. And you were always smart with guns, Cheney. Tell me, did you kill Isaac Stancil? What makes you ask that? 
He didn't strike me as the kind of a man who'd give up his chestnut mare unless he was dead. I'd like to think I did those gutless farmers of Maricopa a favor. It's more than they ever done for me. And now you want to kill them all, just like you did that dog when you were a kid. No reason. Just to get even. Sometimes a man talks too much. I'm forgetting it because we're friends. We were friends, Cheney. You've changed, Clint. The trouble with you is you've never changed. Keep talking. You're digging your grave with words. You're not satisfied with putting a rope around your own neck. Now you want to put one around Sherry's. So that's it. Oh, yeah, I'd be worried there for a minute. I, I thought you'd slipped your blanket. But Sherry, oh, I don't blame you, Clint. I, I know how she affects men. But she's my woman, and I'm taking her with me. And you'll take her right into hell, just like you did Luke. I owed you a favor, Clint. Market paid. And don't come riding out after me. Unless you're ready to die. I'm ready, Cheney. Are you? What happened? Now the marshal's got a thirst for you. That the stuff, men? Part of it. Tied the rest on Isaac's... On your... Chest. How much? Six. One for water. Now, keep it on. What do I do for it? I'll buy the marshal a drink and send Laurie up to keep him company for at least two hours. Here's the keys to the cup. He gets loose in less than two hours, men. I'll be back. I understand. Let's go. Cheney. Uh, Clint put some real fancy words in your head, didn't he? No. I've just had time to think about us, Cheney. And I don't like what I've been thinking. Well, I'm not going to argue. I'm going to give you your choice. You step up on the horse or you're going to be riding to another funeral. The marshals. Well, maybe you're right, Sherry. Maybe we should think about it. Hey, man. Here comes McKenzie's bandwagon, you hear? I hear. Uh, since we're saying goodbye, we'll have a little farewell party, huh? Now you and Laurie go to the kitchen and stay there. place I've heard so much about? A lot of nonsense. Men's the salt of the earth. Better have a sarsaparilla. Long trip ahead. Kane, I'm awfully glad to have had this chance to sound you out. Unexpected pleasure. Now put your hands down and step up to the bar. Well, understand, I think Clint's a very good man. The very best. Of course, he just doesn't know how to take orders. <laughs> Hold it. Your guns, please. 
Put him in that barrel by the bar. We don't allow guns in men's place. I said in the barrel. Bell? Laurie? Lend a hand. Treat these gentlemen right, and I'm sure they'll be regular customers. Now, Mr. Mayor, I, I'm afraid you're going to have to alter your future speeches, because I kicked the main plank out of your platform. I'm referring to the pledge you made to get Stansel. He's got me. I know that's stealing your thunder somewhat, Kane, but don't worry, I'm going to give you a chance to get me. Now, the drinks are on me, men. And bring me a bottle. Marshall's in the back room in bed. You wouldn't want to wake him. A man who wouldn't bury my brother. Hey, man. Give the Reverend a drink. This lemonade will do fine. Shut up. I said a drink, man. Gee, there's no call for this. Now, men, don't get me riled. Drink. The soul of a man who's better off without your blessing. You see that man at the end of the bar? He killed my brother. Oh, I'll get to him shortly, but... If you don't drink your drink, I'll plug him right now. Come on, Cheney. I'll go away with you now. I don't want you. Drink up, Reverend. Drink up or I'll put a bullet through your preacher's heart. Now, just a minute. I don't even know you. But you got a bad habit of making too much noise at the wrong time. Yeah. Play that tune again. What tune? Now, that, that bouncy little number you rang up when the hearse drove by. Sit down. This is a real nice tune. shoot your brother. You said you did. Well, now, I, I might have said it offhand, but Clinton and me both were firing in the head. You're crawling. Look, I, I tell you, it's hard to say who shot him. Look, the minute Luke fell, I quit fire. Well, let, let's go ask Clint. Mostly you're gonna draw. You always wanted to be a marshal? Now's your chance to prove your guts. You haven't drawn, I'm going to spread what little guts you've got all over the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop it up, Kane. Get his gun. Now, that's 
away, Clint. You gotta watch these gun happy killers. Wait for your move, you know? Sorry, Isaac. Cheney's mine. Who's that? Clint Wade. Men's trade is sure going to pieces. Look here, Marshal. You and me will get to each other another time right soon. Send Cheney out. Won't nobody in there get hurt. If everything's going to be so friendly, why don't you come in and get him? Show him I'm serious, Jess. Marshal. There's four out back. That makes about a dozen in all. They've got guns and ammunition enough for a small army. Those are my rifles, all of them. I'm going out and get them. Ben, get your girls and get out of here. Isaac won't hurt you. Come on, Belle, Laurie, hurry up, girls. Hold your fire, boys. Ben, you go on in back there and talk some sense into those people. You're a filthy, no good bunch of pigs. Get out of there, Isaac, and never come back. <laughs> Such talk. Now, you girls go down the road a piece and watch out for sand spurs. Ben, the nicest thing about you is you don't take sides. Keep yourself that way. Now, you go back in there and tell them to turn Cheney loose before I finish the cigarette or we'll kill every mother's son of them. What's up? I mean business. He'll kill us all to get him. Cliff, this is crazy. He's gonna hang anyway. Let's turn him over. Paul says we've got to protect our prisoner, remember? Look, it's personal with him, just like the funeral. He'd stake our highs in a fight just to save this killer. Turn him loose, let him make a run for it. I'll go for that. Mr. Mayor, you're primarily concerned with the welfare of the people. If we knuckle under that gang out there, Isaac Stancil will be your next mayor. Now, you've all been hounding me to get a posse. Well, I think we've got the makings of a good one right here. I've already taken credit for running Stancil out of the county. I think it's time I try to live up to some of that political balderdash. Give me a gun. Get him Cheney's. Reverend, you guard Cheney. Get Clover's gun. One more drag, boys. All right, let's spread out. Wait for my signal. You gonna send Cheney out, Marshal? I think. Yeah. Now listen very careful. We've all talked this over, and here's our answer. <laughs> Let's go get him. 